Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I am very excited because I have a couple of C-stands from Impact and I am excited because I have a video light that I've been wanting to mount up to a more sturdy light stand than what I currently have and I hope these C-stands are going to do the trick for me. So let's jump into it, check them out and here we go. All right, first off, let me tell you what these C-stands are. So this one over here is the Impact LS CL40M, and this is gonna be a 40-inch quick-release sliding leg C-stand. It says it's gonna have sliding legs for stability on uneven surfaces um, and stairs. Quick-release legs simpli uh, simplifies opening and closing, solid steel construction, durable zinc leg castings, oversized tubing for extra strength, and ergonomic T-handles for, uh, for maximum torque. So, all right, there we have it. And again, these are from Impact, uh, from Impact Studio Lighting, uh, and yeah, impactstudiolighting.com. I'll leave a link for them in the video description anyways, but you can grab these from B&H. So, now, on the other side here, we have the Impact LSP SCSB, and this is a column stand with sliding arm. This has a load capacity of 17.6 pounds or eight kilograms, maximum height of 7.2 feet, uh, seven and a quarter feet, 7.25 feet or 2.2 meters, sliding arm with pistol grip, locking wheels, removable extension column, and reversible 5 eighth to uh, and one quarter 20 pin. So both of these are going to be very, very versatile in their own way. But let's go ahead and just get them out of their boxes so we can take a look at them. And then uh, we'll just see how they, how they look and how they perform. All right. Well, we're going to start off with the, uh, the LSP SCSB column stand with sliding arm because, well, the box is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit easier to get up on the table and just a little bit easier to, you know, to navigate and taking it out of the box. So let's go ahead and uh, let me get some of this stuff out of here. So I need to go ahead and uh, cut through this tape so we can get through here. And let me see if I can get through this. And they did tape it up very well. So that's nice to know that during shipping, it's not going to get all messed up. So cut through that. Let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can open this up now and get this out. And this one actually, believe it or not, it's a little bit heavier than the other one because it comes with more stuff. Like you're gonna get the, uh, the wheels and all that stuff there. And so let me see if I can pull all of this out of here. And ah, that is heavy. Woo, I think that is everything. So let me just go ahead and toss that box off to the side. And nope, I don't think it wants to stay over there. Let me see if I can toss it off. Woo! Over there. All right. <laughs> and let me see. There's some plastic that it's in. Let me get that out. I'm probably going to get shocked now because there's a whole bunch of static cling on that plastic. But it does come in a nice case here, as we can see. So we're going to get this nice impact case that's going to tell us it even has the model number on there, uh, you know, so we know what it is. And let's, un, uh, let's undo this here. And let's see what this is going to uh, what this is going to look like here. So, yeah, this is this is quite a bit of stuff here. So, um, so we're going to get this one column here, and let me toss that off to the side. All this stuff is bubble wrapped up, so it stays nice and neat, doesn't get all scratched up. People don't like to like you know, no one wants to to take out their nice new stands and it's all dinged up and scratched up already from, uh, you know, from shipping. So let me go ahead. This is going to be the one pole. Let me just set that off on the ground over there so that we can, uh, so we can deal with that in a minute. I think this is going to be the main part right here. And, uh, you know, it's funny is that I've never actually owned a C stand before. This is the first time I will have actually owned a C-stand. Now I've used them before because I have worked on various sets where, um, where C-stands were used, but I've never actually owned one. So this is kind of nice to actually, um, to actually have my own. And uh, some of my friends out there that do filmmaking will probably laugh at me because Sometimes they think that I have everything because I do have quite a bit of stuff, but these C-stands are something that I've never actually owned and partly because I just haven't really needed them up until now 
or at least I've never felt like I've really needed them. And the other part is too, is because C stands generally are really, really heavy. And I like to keep my, I like to keep my kit very, very lightweight and very, uh, very lightweight and very uh, compact. And so, all right, let's see. So this is gonna be the stamp. This is gonna be the, uh, this is gonna be the base right here. And it looks like we're gonna have to unlock this. So you may be able to see this right here. Let's see if we can get that. That's gonna be the locking part right there. You can push that up and that's gonna unlock the, uh, the legs there. So see if we can go ahead and unlock this. And oops, let me see if I can get that again. And then we can see it's gonna come down and then we can do that on, um, we can do that for each leg there. And now we're gonna get these to come all the way down. And there we go. Now we have our base that we can go ahead and uh, we have our base where we can go ahead and set this up on the ground. Now I have some more plastic and foam on there that I need to get through. So let me see, there we go. I got that done. And all right, so we can see here, this is pretty serious. So let me go ahead and just set this. Let me set this right there for the moment. We'll grab this pole and I believe, let's see, I believe this is gonna go in here or maybe not. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but there's some other stuff in here. So let me pull out the other stuff. We're also gonna get some documentation in here um, as far as the instructions and whatnot. So um, yeah, I might need to actually use the instructions to figure this out. So yeah, if you look right there, there's gonna be a couple of other pieces on there that you're gonna use to get this fully set up. So um, let's see, there's gonna be this little pouch on here. There's gonna be a little pouch right there that's going to have some other stuff inside of it. And there's actually one on this side is of the, uh, of the case as well. So let's go in here, see what else we have. We'll just get everything out. I think these are gonna be the wheels actually. So there's gonna be three wheels that you can put on. Now you don't have to use the wheels and that's everything. I can feel the bag is nice and light. So um, now you don't have to use the wheels if you don't want to obviously, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the wheels off. Um, I may put them on just for giggles, but to be honest with you, because my place here is carpeted all the way through, except for like the kitchen, there's no real need for me to have, uh, you know, to have wheels on there. So, all right. Now this looks like, this looks like I believe is gonna help me put that pole on there. And so I think this is going to go, I'm not exactly sure how that, I think this may go in there like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I think this is going to go, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, well, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. This I believe is the quick release, oh, that's what this is gonna be. This is gonna be the quick release arm that's gonna go in there. So I think this is gonna go into here somehow and then this is gonna be the quick release that's going to allow you to quickly lower or raise the C-stand. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and actually figure this out. Uh, but before we do, let me just go ahead and show you everything else that came in here. So um, we're gonna get a little Allen key on there. Um, let me show you the, um, let me show you what the wheels look like here. So let me get this out of here. And let me show you the wheels. And, oh, they're nice. They actually have like these sort of like rollerblade wheels on there. So that's gonna be really nice there. So if you can check that out, it's gonna have some nice wheels. Um, this part's gonna move right here. There's some oil in there, which I've already gotten on my hands. Um, yeah, this looks nice. And then there's, they have brakes. There's even, a, if you can see that right there, there's even a little brake on there so that you can, uh, you can have them for the wheels. So, all right. Um, there's, I, there's three of those wheels, so I only showed you one, but there is three of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this all put together because, uh, you know, I haven't actually done, I haven't actually put one of these types of column stands together before. So I'm gonna see if I can get this all put together and then show you what it looks like fully assembled. And then I'll get the other one put together and I'll see which one I think I might wanna use to put my light on there.
All right, so I went ahead and put the column stand all together, and I have to say that at first I wasn't truly getting it, but now I definitely see the appeal of this particular type of stand. So we can see here that we have a quick release and a quick adjustment arm on here, and we can simply go ahead, and because it has wheels, we can roll this wherever we want. But let's see, like right here, we can go ahead and push this, and then we can raise this up, and we can lower it down as far as we want to go, and we can turn it whichever direction we want to we want to turn it. It's very very easy to make adjustments for anything that you have on there. So if you have a light like I currently have on there, or if you have say a monitor for a for a director or for producers or clients or whoever else, you can make sure that it's at the right height and right angle so that they can see it. And because of the wheels, they can roll this thing around wherever they want to. It really is fantastic that way. Or if you're simply in a studio and you need to lower or raise your light, so you can get the right angle for your light, it's quick and easy to do that on there. So, and because you're gonna have a weight capacity of 17 pounds, you're gonna be able to put a nice amount of stuff on there, whether that be, say, a camera, or if you want to mount, say, a laptop stand on there, or a studio light. You're gonna be able to put a lot on there quickly and easily and make those adjustments. So, yeah. Anyways, it's fantastic. I really like it, but we still have one other uh, stand to put together. So let's get that one put together and then see how it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get this other one opened up here. And this one is going to be the Impact 40 inch quick release sliding leg C stand. This is going to be the LS CL40M. And let's get through this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of this sort of packing stuff on here. So let's uh, cut through this here and uh, and see if we can get that off. There's a couple more over here, so let's uh, let's cut through that. And uh, and there we go. All right, let's put that knife away for a minute. I think I might actually need it again to cut through some of this uh, this tape on there. But let's get all this stuff off and get this out of here. Whew, that is a lot of uh, there's a lot of packing material that comes with this stuff. But these are heavy stands, and so I guess they want to make sure that um, that they don't come they don't come off while or come out while they're being shipped so let me see if i can cut through this uh see if i can cut through this packing material here there's all this tape and get through this stuff there and let me see if i can cut through that side over here and let's see is that going to get yep there we go that's going to get me open so let's see if i can slide this stuff out and yeah i'm gonna probably be banging around a little bit in here so let me throw that stuff up over there and oh man this thing is uh this is gonna be a little bit uh a little bit awkward here <laughs> let's see i think it's stuck on something inside here i don't know what but all right let's see if we can try it from this side I might just have to rip the whole box open because I can't seem to I can't seem to get this thing out. It's definitely stuck on something in there. And uh, 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 yeah, it's definitely stuck. Something is more packing stuff. And uh, Ah, I'll tell you right now, this unboxing experience is not the most pleasant for this. Stick that over there, throw that way off over there. My God. Okay. Woo. All right, let's get this out of here. Get all this plastic off. At least, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing that's nice about this one so far is that it comes assembled, which is very, very nice. That means it's gonna be quick and it's gonna be easy to get this thing together. So it looks like there is one other knob that comes with this. Now, I don't know if this is just a replacement knob or if this goes on to something, but it looks like, I think this might just be a replacement knob. So, all right, let me show you here. We have the, uh, we have the three legs. Anybody who has worked with C-stands, will recognize 
these three legs here. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to have to get these things going. And then there we go. They're gonna sit like that, sort of like a uh, sort of like a spider. And uh, and I just need to get those things locked. And I think actually, actually, I think this is going to actually go in here. This is where the other one's gonna go, right there. And that knob's gonna go there. And there we go. Now that's gonna lock it down. And my legs are going to be locked down in place and we are ready to, uh, we're ready to use it. Now this thing is, these legs are pretty wide so I'm even having trouble getting it to stay on the table here. So, all right. Well, now we can see the legs a little bit. Let's go ahead and actually set this down so that we can, uh, so I can show you here. Now this one, so far from what I'm seeing, I think this might be the light stand that I use, but I don't know because I'll be honest with you, the quickness of the, the, uh, the quick adjustment on that, on the column stand over there is just so really, really nice. Um, but this is a traditional C stand and it is definitely heavy weight. So you're gonna have these knobs here that are gonna release and then you can, uh, and then you can go ahead tighten them down right there so that they, so that they uh, stay up. There's gaskets right here, so if you release that and it slides down, you can see there it's going to, uh, it's going to use that gasket. But you may have noticed it actually it squirted out a little bit of stuff. There's oil on there, I think, to keep everything nice and lubricated so it doesn't get jammed up. So, um, but yeah, and the, there's a couple of different columns on here so that you can you can use that. Each of those columns actually have those gaskets on there as well. So you can get this really, really pretty high. Um, on the top here, it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like there's gonna have, it looks like it's about a, it's not a, it's not a threaded anything, but this is where you're gonna be able to fit your light on there. So if you have a, uh, if you have a studio light of some sort, you're gonna be able to put that right there. Or if you have some other sort of stand, uh, some sort of light or other mount, you're going to be able to fit it on there. So this is this is definitely definitely nice. It's very it's very sturdy. It's a little bit. Of, it has some weight on there, and that's what you definitely want with a C stand. You want some weight on your C stand because the last thing you want is to put something on there like a studio light or anything, a camera or something on there and it tips over. Now you can put sandbags on there as well, but you still want your C stands to have some nice weight to them. So anyways, this is the, uh, this is the impact C stand. This is, what was this? This is the LS. I don't have the thing over now, but this is the, <laughs> this is, uh, I'll have to look up the model number again. They have some strange names on here, but this is the other one. And now I just have to decide which one I'm gonna use for my light. I think it might be this one because it seems like it takes up less room. The legs on the bottom definitely take up less room than the other one. So, but I think they're both really, really great. They have, both of them have their advantages. Um, I really love the quick release on the, uh, on the column stand. That's really just, kind of awesome and fantastic, but I think this might be the winner for me to how I'm gonna put up my other studio light. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at a couple of stands. We have the Impact LSP SCSB. That is the B, I believe that's for black on this one here. And then we also have the LS CL40M series. That is the, the C stand here. And both of these are fantastic stands and I'm going to use both of them. Now this one here, this one's going to be a little bit uh, challenging maybe for, the, for me to use here in my studio because I have a very small studio here and those legs definitely stretch out and spread out a bit wider. Um, I have carpet in here and they have wheels so it's not really as useful for me with the wheels on there. But the C-Stand, I'm surprised that it's a, it's much more compact than I expected it to be, but it's very, very well built. It's very heavyweight, which is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, uh, my studio light on here and have that going for me. So yeah, anyways, there you have them. You can grab both of these at, uh, at b and I'm gonna leave links to both of them down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts, so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. 
Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.